Hi guys and welcome back to my channel Popcorn Reviews. I'm Farhad. If you're new to this channel, then please smash that subscribe button now. And we are about 130 subscribers away from the 1.3k mark, the new goal of our channel. So if you're new, please smash the subscribe button and also like the video. So today, the film that we're going to be discussing is the new Telugu film, the new Pongal release, which is called Walter Viraya, which stars Chiranjeevi Garu in the lead. And uh, before the review, I must say that, you know, year 2022 hasn't been the best for the Telugu film industry. You know, if I had to keep RRR aside, there were only a handful of other films that had actually worked. And one reason for that is probably the over-the-top nature of their cinema in general that probably um, in times of OTT may not find many takers, you know. And this is just a perception, but uh, that is not to say that the over over the top uh, commercial mass masala entertainer doesn't work. You know, RRR has shown that uh, you know it can work. You know, if the sequences are executed right, if they are entertaining, and if they have an emotional core element to it, I think they would definitely work. They still have an audience, and I must admit, I do like. Uh, mass masala entertainers too contrary to what you know uh, some of the others believe it to be having said that you know uh, i went into uh, walter viraya with a lot of skepticism and that was because i had watched varisu earlier you know the tamil film varisu earlier and um, i couldn't help but think that you know the bare minimum uh, fan service may just creep in in this film as well and so I was very wary before getting into the film. But then how does, you know, Walter um, Viraya, you know, actually fare for me? So let's find out. Uh, coming to the story and screenplay, Walter uh, Viraya is essentially a story of a notorious smuggler who is, you know, uh, tasked with a, uh, with a thing to, you know, to kidnap uh, the drug dealer, um, which has been the most wanted drug dealer probably. That is the one-liner spoiler-free plot that I could give. The story again is not the best. It is again an old wine in a new bottle type of a story. It is nothing new, nothing that you've not seen already. Um, but I must say that it had a better structure, at least as compared to Varisu. It wasn't entirely, you know, structureless to begin with. And I did seem to enjoy, you know, the first 40 minutes, so to say. But then the film really, you know, goes into crash train wreck mode, absolutely self-destructive mode. And that is where the film, you know, eventually lies. So I will get to it in a detail uh, in this section. So uh, the screenplay here standing at about 100 and what was it? 160 minutes uh, is a little too long. Um, again, uh, it has its moments definitely uh, of entertainment, but uh, yeah, it goes into self-destructive mode later on. So the drama opens on a very good note. You know, it uh, has a good setup uh, where the drug dealer, you know, he's been captured by the cops and he's been put in a police station until, you know, the entire shootout sequence where all the police officers are, you know, gunned down. This makes for a very good beginning and it was an interesting beginning and cut to in a separate, uh, you know, chase, you know, separate... Um, scene rather uh, the protagonist uh, is introduced in grand fashion you know where he's beating the pulp out of some of the other smugglers that are there look uh, the not so local smugglers and i think that set the tone well for the drama i did have a little problem you know uh, with the tone of the drama i think the tone was a comedy as compared to something that was very serious and tense it could have been something that was very tense and you know um, but the comedy you know did not work for me it really you know was a little uh, it was flat uh, so to say and the love hate relationship uh, you know between uh, the drama, you know, the Telugu film showcasing romantic angles, I think that continues the love-hate relationship because the romantic angle is such an eyesore. You, you, most of the Telugu films are, you know, guilty of, you know, just showcasing the romantic angle as problematic and cringe-worthy. It was cringe-worthy, absolutely cringe-worthy. 
But having said that, the first 40 minutes, if I had to put the logic aside, then it did work for me up to an extent. Uh, the events, I would admit, were, you know, decently entertaining and engaging. Um, I also, you know, in the first hour, you know, despite the humor and the love angle not working, you know, some of the action sequences were good, including the a uh, spectacular interval block that was there i think that was really well you know choreographed and you know uh, structured but the problems the real problems start in the second hour and for some odd reason you know the story goes into a flashback four years back and uh, you know it uh, gives us a glimpse of who walter viraya was and you know um, the character of uh, ravi teja being introduced who's said to be a good cop now, uh, this, the two of them, Ravi Teja and uh, Chiran Jeevi, they actually share the screen space, you know, and it was two superstars sharing screen space. You, they were at loggerheads at each other, but it was so half-baked, so stereotyped, so cliched that, you know, it absolutely, you know, just fell through and how it crashed the second half was really bad really bad and uh, you know it absolutely did not uh, make sense it was playing you know to the galleries it was playing to their fans and it was bare minimum fan service something that i was really worried about i think that was something that the, the maker should have taken care of but uh, you know if there was even a loose attempt you know to connect the subplot to the main plot very half baked very cliched it was predictable for most parts, but uh, some of the twists and turns were all right, okay. But then nothing that was so engaging that, you know, it had me glued, you know. First half was, was moderately good, but the second half was absolutely crap. But I should get to the final act as well, which absolutely takes the cake. The final act wasn't bad. It was very bad. It was unintentionally funny. I mean, I was, I had a hearty laugh after watching the final, final act. I mean, um, I would apologize for all the fans of Ravi Teja and Chiranjeevi. You know, I'm sorry if, you know, you're finding this review offensive, but it was hilarious for God's sake. There was this entire sequence where, you know, just have to, I'm just giving a little spoilers out. So there was an entire sequence where the protagonist, you know, character of Chiranjeevi rescues the antagonist uh, Prakash Raj from a, a bunch of goons, you know, who were shooting him and not one bullet was hitting either of them. And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, there's a helicopter that comes along and, you know, the helicopter sequence, uh, you know, they rescue, manage to rescue the character of Prakash Raj. But the character of Chiranjeevi refuses to get in because he has vertigo. <laughs> and all of a sudden, in a flash of events, you know, uh, despite having vertigo, he just jumps and you know enters the helicopter oh my god and then there's this quote sequence that happens uh, where you know just to uh, for the antagonist to you know admit uh, that uh, he uh, is responsible for his uh, brother's death you know protagonist's brother's death you know he admits to that and out of nowhere all of a sudden you know chiranjeevi you know just beheads him in the middle of court oh my god <laughs> It was hilarious. It was hilarious. Neither do the emotional scenes work, nor do the funny scenes work. But you know, this was unintentionally funny. It made me go, matlab kuch bhi. <laughs> so yeah, so uh, <laughs> overall the screenplay has its moments in the first half, but the second half is just an epitome of next level of being bad. <laughs> Okay, so coming to the technical aspects, you know, the dialogues are, you know, cringeworthy, absolutely cringeworthy and loud. The proceedings are loud in general and it's almost deafening, uh, you know, um, and that is why the drama doesn't leave much of an impact. The songs also are absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> the music is ridiculously average, you would say. I wouldn't say bad, but it was pretty average, but the songs are ridiculously placed in the screenplay you know there's a tense situation with all the bad guys in one place and all of a sudden the song plays out with the heroine play <laughs> they're dancing away so i mean that was something that was again hilarious and the songs are so randomly placed that it is absolutely ridiculous <laughs> uh, the bgm is again loud and deafening very generic also uh, cinematography is all right uh, action sequences are okay um, director bobby coley 
आई थिंक ही मिस इज द मार्क द डिरेक्शन इज जस्ट नॉट गुड इट्स बैड आई वुड से एस्पेशली द सेकेंड आर द डिरेक्शन वॉज डिसेंट इन द फर्स्ट आर बट इन द सेकेंड आर ओ माई गॉड इट्स वेरी बैड एंड वेरी फॉर्मुल फॉर्मुल लाइक आई थिंक इट वॉज जस्ट अ स्टैंडर्ड टेम्पलेट ऑफ फॉर्मूला दैट वॉज देयर कमिंग टू द परफॉर्मेंसेज आई फेल्ट द परफॉर्मेंसेज अगैन डू नॉट एग्ज्यूड ऑफ एनी सॉर्ट ऑफ कॉन्फिडेंस वॉट सो एवर बॉबी सिमा आई थिंक ही डिड अ गुड जॉब दो बॉबी सिन्हा डिड अ गुड जॉब प्रकाश राज डिड अ गुड जॉब बेटर एज कम्पेयर टू वार इज यू गेट्स अ बेटर स्कोप एज वेल बट यू नो वन थिंग दैट यू मस्ट डू इज बी एन एक्ट्रेस इन द तेलुगु फिल्म इंडस्ट्री दैट इज समथिंग दैट यू नो एस्पेशली इन दीज मास मसाला एंटरटेनर्स दैट्स अ स्ट्रिक्ट नो नो बिकॉज हियर बोथ दी एक्टर्स यू नो श्रुति हासन एंड कैथरीन ट्रेसा आई थिंक दे आर एब्सल्यूट प्रॉप्स दे हैव नो नो सिग्निफिकेंस इन द एंटायर स्क्रीन प्ले यू नो इवन इफ द कैरेक्टर्स वो नॉट देर द फिल्म वुड हैव एंडेड एग्जैक्टली द वे वो टूड हैव इज एब्सोल्यूटली नो दे वो जस्ट यू नो प्रॉब्ली एज अ शैलो एक्सप्रेशन टोल्ड यू नो वन मस्ट क्राई वन मस्ट फाइट वन मस्ट यू नो प्ले विद गन्स that is it i mean and one must you know know how to dance that is it so that i'm sorry if i'm sounding sexist but you know um you needed a better role better written role i think if you get the point of what i'm trying to say then it wouldn't be a sexist statement uh, it's absolutely not right with the way the romantic angles have been treated with you know actors you know pairing up with someone who's you know more than half their age they are junior that is i think ridiculous i cannot believe that uh, you know so it happens in hall in bollywood also yeah i get that uh, i'm sure the points are going to be you know bollywood also has that same you know with few actors doing that yeah fair enough it's not right <laughs> but uh, this was a next level so to say uh, caricaturish and problematic cringe worthy sort of a romantic angle so i'm sorry if i'm thrashing it but Ravi Teja I think he did uh, he was okay sincere and playing to the masses playing to his friends did a good job Chiranjeevi also play he is loud you know he was loud and uh, I think it was more to cater to his fans but then the question again emerges you know how much is less and how much is more and does the bare minimum fan service really help anyone the can you not you know uh play you know characters your age or you know someone say like a mamuti or an amita bachchan you know scripts have been written for them you cannot keep doing commercial entertainers all throughout your life so i think it is time to go back to the drawing board and i know the film is earning a lot of money i know i know all of that but i do not care whether the film earns or not my uh collection is not something that i you know should be interested in for me as a you know a film critic and a reviewer it should be that the film is good or bad and this is not a good film this is pretty you know average it made me go matlab kuch bhi it was i was face palming through some of the sequences this cannot be the standard this cannot be the bar of entertainment for sure at least not for me and with all due apologies to fans of ravi teja and chiranjeevi this did not work for me and i will call a spade a spade on my channel so then if you're liking this video please smash that like button subscribe to the channel press that bell icon it helps a small creator like me if you'd like to read a full review of you know walter viraya then it is available on my site popcorn reviews with a double s the link of which is in the description box below also follow me on other social media platforms like facebook instagram twitter letterboxd I do not make a video of all the films that I review but I do write a lot you know and all that information will either be on my social media or on my website so do check those out as well I will probably be seeing you all tomorrow or most definitely day after for sure maybe tomorrow so then until next time thank you so much and keep sharing the video with your loved ones with your friends with your family you know let's expand this little community uh, our film community you know where we can just have opinions without any qualms and you know be civil with one another so then that is one thing that is there for the moment walter viraya i did not like the film i'm sorry again once again a very sorry I'll see you again either tomorrow or day after so then until next time thank you so much